I'm Christine McKellar, host of That's So Vegas TV, and we're so happy to be here tonight. It's the 44th annual UNL Vino. There's an all-star lineup of chefs and restaurateurs and an unprecedented one-night-only celebration of TLC, tasting, learning, and community. So we thought we'd get here a little bit early just to give the general public kind of an idea of all the activity that goes on. There is going to be a very special and surprise event at 6.30. We're not quite sure what it is, but we know where it is. And it's going to be right here in this hallway. If you look around and we'll be showing you, taking you on a personal tour, you're gonna to see everything from food tastings to beer tastings, wine tastings, vodka tastings, and all kinds of peripheral things that go along with whining and dining here in Las Vegas, so stay tuned. We're doing a kind of a pre-run before all the festivities start, and I'm, I was arrested by this display of Quattro, and lo and behold, look who I met, who just turned me on to something really magnificent. Can you please explain that? Absolutely, so basically what we have is, uh, everyone's familiar with Quattro. The which normal. Quattro is basically, uh, the, the, the main ingredient for the original margarita. We're celebrating the 70th anniversary of the original margarita. But uh, one thing that we also have that a lot of people don't understand is Cointreau Noir. Now Cointreau Noir is like the, uh, our version of Grandma, but a lot better. Uh, not saying that Grandma Marnier is bad, but this is absolutely takes it over the top. It does. You have the number one cognac in the world, which is Remy, or Remy Cognac, uh, made with Cointreau. So you take it, I mean, all you gotta do is just take a sniff of that. Imagine oh, that in your margarita, and it's it yeah. it elevates your experience to another level. Do you know what? I don't think you'd ever go back to a different type of margarita after you've had it a floater. Absolutely not. On you top. can actually have it on, have it with this, or actually as a floater on top. Either way, it works. I wonders. want to buy a bottle for my ex-husband. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, Cointreau Noir. Yes. Eighty proof, so it actually has a lot of kick to it. So you can actually uh, increase your cocktails uh, a lot more by doing a little float. But again, using the top cognac in the world. I'm, I'm telling you, this is positively delicious. Wonderful. And it would really put a margarita top shelf. Or on your ice cream. Or, <laughs> top, top your Boy, ice I'm cream. gonna be sitting all night right. here. Thank you so much. You're welcome, thanks for stopping by. We'll be back. You bet. Cheers. How do you see the world? Ha! At Shiner's Hospitals for Children, we know that changing how you see things can turn them into everyday miracles! Like riding my bike. Breaking boards! Ha! Hugging my mom! Every day for over 90 years, Shriners Hospitals for Children has been sending love to the rescue regardless of a family's ability to pay. If you know a child we can help, call or go online now. Chef Paul Bartolotta, one of our favorite, most renowned Italian chefs. I know, are you jealous? White bean and... Just get muscle and white bean soup. Oh, that's just amazing. Such a creative mind. It melts in your mouth. Tell us a bit about the restaurant real quick and this absolutely incredibly creative and unique dish that you prepare? Well, we have a really, really good restaurant. We have a really good meat program that's involved with us. The center of the plate is all meats and then, of course, some seafood. Um, we have a dish today that we're actually uh, featuring just today. Uh, it's actually a squid ink. Uh, squid ink. Uh, I want you to get that. It's got a liquid nitrogen foie gras. There's a spuma of yuzu, white soy, and a little pickle wrap. It's really, really good. 
really refreshing. Amazing. So there's all kinds of different. Is that an umami flavor? Or it umami does have that taste? umami flavor too. Okay. Yes. Well, we're going to sample this. Yeah, so okay. thank you so much. This is really interesting. I love the fact now the squid ink is on the top. Squid ink right around on the So what does that do? What does that bring to it? Gives it that nice color to it. We actually, with the squid ink, we, we, we did a little roasted of uh, some herbs that are actually um, are roasted on the edge of it, shaved it, and then of course it's on the top. So we kind of wanted this to be like a cap on top of everything instead of it just being your traditional carpaccio. It's beautiful. It really caught my eye when I went by. And I do have squid ink on my fingers, so. That was amazing. I do want to make a comment that this is truly one of my favorite vineyards. There you go. Best labels. Well, it's Barney well. Anti Chardonnay. It goes wonderful with their, uh, their crab cakes. cakes. Absolutely, right next door. Yeah. Did you plan that? Nope. Cheers, the 44th. Anniversary of you and Alvino. Love it. that you could grab a front row seat and for free to some of the greatest entertainment in Las Vegas. Would you like to feel like a VIP with behind the scenes access to who and what makes Las Vegas the entertainment capital of the world? That's So Vegas brings you up close and personal from the comfort of your home and or the comfort of your phone. Watch candid interviews with Vegas celebrities, entertainers, chefs, entrepreneurs, and visionaries. Like us on Facebook, join us on Twitter, and subscribe to our That's So Vegas TV channel to get each week's latest episodes. I'd like to give a quick shout out to one of our sponsors, CR Realty Services here in the Las Vegas Arts District. By the way, one of my favorite chefs. It's been a long time. It has been a long time. We need to get you over. I have a restaurant, Sparrow and Wolf, in Chinatown. Oh, it's lovely. So happy to hear that. Yeah, so we're having a lot of fun. What is with the secret little boxes? So tonight we've got our wood roasted duck. We're roasting in the back campfire back there. Oh, nice. Um, got some woodier mushrooms and foie gras, salted plum. It's delicious. Our All kind that. Of, uh, French homage to Chinatown, if you will. And something to brighten up the palate a little bit. We've got uh, some uh, beet tartare. It's a got green apple and fennel in there. Some toasted nori. That's amazing looking. Did we get a close up of that? That is absolutely a work of art. Is that seaweed? It is seaweed. So we dry it out, put a little bit of matcha and uh, lemon gel on there. Sounds lovely. Are these to go? Absolutely. Okay. We some cocktails if you're Yeah, we tried that. <laughs> I'm still working on that.
still here at the 44th UNL Vino Festival event. It's amazing here at the Lou Ruvo Center. There are so many people here. I heard a rumor of chefs Sandoval that there are about 3,000 people this year. Doesn't it feel like it? They say 3,000, but until we, we wake up tomorrow and actually uh -huh. get that final number, right. I'm going to guess it's a lot higher. I'm, uh, I'm, I think so, it's too. Definitely walking through the event, it feels to me like there's, I don't know, a few more. There's got to be, and we've yeah. been here personally ourselves, and you two, you guys were setting up. We were here earlier. We, you us yeah, we, up. we've been here since uh, Tuesday. So my class of, um, we have 40 students in our class that put this um, event on, and we started on Tuesday just prepping, getting everything ready, and it and it literally takes us four days aren't to get everything set up and rolling. Aren't you proud of them? Oh, they, they've done an amazing job. Yeah. I mean, look at this event. It's, am it's, really it's amazing. It's hugely successful, so. The food, everything, the preparation. We have some of the top chefs in the country here. Oh yeah, in the world, um, and they're and they're all here. It's awesome. They're walking around, and you know, Absolutely. Paul Bartolota, Hubert Keller. Um, I mean, they're just you know, to name a few. There's some really, really talented uh, chefs here. So. Do you think Hubert Keller is going to spin some just tonight? You know, he's a DJ on the side. You know what? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask him later and see where he's spinning because yeah. after this event, I'm definitely gonna need to unwind a little. I think we all are. I'm telling you what, it's just like been like a salmon waiting upstream or whatever. Yeah. But. Right. Thank you for everything that you thank do you. for the students in Nevada and for the culinary arts in Nevada. We love you. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Carry on. Have a good night. You too. A plum wine. Anything plum is good for you. Say, say. It's got a nice flavor and a kick to it. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of kicks tonight. <laughs> lemon, lime, and acai berry. Acai berry. I'd like to try the acai berry. You want to try lemon, lime? So it rehydrates you after a bad night? After a bad night, night, after a day at the park. You know, hanging out. Yeah. yeah. Just hydration. Good because I've been dying yeah. of dehydration. Yeah, it Thank you. Out. Of course, you can, you can even mix it. You can even mix it. It won't, it won't uh, interfere with your, uh, like, um, As a mother, you don't want to have to worry about this bill is coming, but then she needs this chemo. That's a decision you shouldn't have to make. At St. Jude, a family never sees a bill at all, not one bill. It's like the world has been lifted off of your shoulders. The treatment doesn't get any better than what you receive at St. Jude. It saved my life. It saved my daughter's life. It saved our family. people's lives that are here tonight. He did it, changing this state, giving us so many great things, and as I said, when I had this dream of this Cleveland Clinic, bringing the world's greatest minds in the world for neurological, the first two people to come up was Rhonda and Don. So ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great pleasure to introduce my great friend, Rhonda Carano. Thank you, thank you. Our family is so honored to acknowledge Don and receiving the Don Perignon Lifetime Achievement Award. You know, Don was a true Nevadan, and he embodied that entrepreneurial spirit that us Nevadans have, always encouraging others to follow their dreams, whatever they live. In his case, it was law, as he was an attorney, and then hotel, gaming, 
and yes, wine. And for all of you involved in the hospitality industry, your opportunities are endless in today's world, especially in Las Vegas, the internationally mecca for all things hospitality, entertainment, commercial, cultural, educational, medical. Just look what we have behind us. The Cleveland Clinic Brain Center, Lou Ruval Center. It's amazing, amazing. Las Vegas is strong. Don would be so honored to be recognized by the state that he was born, Nevada. And it is a quiet way, very soft-spoken, he would simply say, this is special. We're doing a little bit of a wrap-up here tonight. This has been an amazing turnout. Some people say 3,000 people, we say 3,000 plus. It's literally been like the salmon trying to swim upstream. You've seen some of the chefs that we've seen tonight. One of my favorite chefs who's been on our show before, Chef Matt Icarsby of Hex Kitchen and Bar. Tonight they have a sampling set out. Peanut butter cheesecake, chocolate hazelnut bar, and a chocolate tart. So you can see by the lavish display here that Hex is being sexy as ever. Unfortunately, Chef Matt isn't here tonight, but again, he's been a guest on our show. So. We're gonna take a couple samples and then walk our way through and head out tonight. It's been amazing. I'm Christine McKellar with this week's latest Vegas entertainment updates. It's been the buzz for months, now it's a reality. Multi-platinum recording artist Gwen Stefani will have an exclusive headlining residency show, Gwen Stefani, Just a Girl, inside Zappos Theater at Planet Hollywood beginning Wednesday, June 27th. Her 25 dates extend through March 2019. General ticket prices begin at $59. The Void, the global leader of a new category of immersive location-based experiences, has teamed up with the Lucasfilm's immersive entertainment division to create Star Wars Secrets of the Empire. This attraction will open in the Grand Canal shops at St. Mark's Square at the Venetian and the Palazzo on Friday, April 27th at 10 a.m. The multi-sensory interactive adventure will transport guests deep into the Star Wars virtual universe. Teams of four must work together to infiltrate an Imperial base with help from familiar Star Wars characters along the way. One of our special guests, comedian and celebrity impressionist Sean E. Cooper, who's been a featured act for 14 years in the fantasy show at the Luxor, recently received the Career Achievement Award at the second Las Vegas Film, Art, Music, and Entertainment Awards. Prior to fantasy, Cooper toured the world performing on cruise ships, and he's been in several Vegas shows, including Legends in Concert, Splash Las Vegas, and his own The Coop Show. Fun, fairs, and festivals abound this spring in Las Vegas. The Artists and Craft Festival will be held at the Silverton in the Vail Pavilion from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sunday, April 22nd. Admission is free. Summerlin's sixth annual Health and Wellness Fair will be held at Las Ventanas on West Charleston Boulevard with more than 40 vendors and free health scans and screenings on Tuesday, April 24th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Please browse the VegasOnlyEntertainment.com website for more VIP entertainment updates. Until next week, I'm Christine McKellar and that's So Vegas. One, two, three, four, get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive, six, seven, eight, feeling great. Nine, gonna shine, life is good. I'm doing five, ten, gonna do it right and do it again. Yeah.